29 hour show. You may be happy to know that you will not be the ones waiting here for 29 hours. That's our show. Every year, students from the Actor Society come together overnight to write a show based on whatever we can think about, from racist boats to a German fashion show. Each year has something different in store, and our actors are continuously thinking of better and better ideas. We pitched hundreds of these concepts, but only a few make it. However, this year, over 30 made it into the show, either as small interludes, monologues, or full skits. We do this for many reasons, one of which is to raise money for the timely cause. This year, we chose St. Vincent de Paul Society, an organization that is helping the victims of the Australian wildfires by donating food, clothing, and other household necessities. Your donations are greatly appreciated and will be going directly to the cause. You can read more about it in your programs. Thank you for coming. Have some fun and enjoy the show. Movies can get away with these days. I'm looking at you, Star Wars. 
I hope you enjoyed not having to pay $14 for that and $10 for snacks each. Next up is the Brady character, a normal day in the not so normal life of Brady Ann. Mr. Zebley, can we get a little bit of house, please? It's too dark. Thank you. Cinnamon 
goes the crutch. You know what? I'm not, I'm not hungry, actually. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh dear, we do look at the time. 10 15 p.m. That's past his bedtime. He needs to get to sleep. Brayden meanders his way over to his bed, ready for a long day of practicing the ukulele tomorrow. Brayden, in an odd turn of events, decides to use his dog instead of his pillow. An odd choice. The dog seems to be dying. Brayden needs to perform CPR. Brayden is successful. The dog has come back to life. Brayden decides to throw his dog at his house plants. Now, after a long day's work and a long day's panic, Brayden Yen proceeds to strum himself to sleep. The end. word 
world, the answer is just as simple as one word. Cray. Thanks to the world scare, when General Soleimani was killed, <clears throat> World War III seemed in the cards for the next Gen Zs and Millennials. Avocado, to avocado toast and all. How will these gamers, TikTokers, and nerds fare in war? We present World War III.
world of misinformation, it doesn't help when some teachers deny facts, laws of nature, and just plain common sense. Welcome to That Teacher. We learned to paint with Bob Ross. Now in 2020, PBS is looking for ratings. We learned to murder now with Sharon. PBS presents.
those in the body. If you have chosen to pick them, which you do obviously have, make sure you have the muscle to properly dispose of the body. Using a breaking bad methodology, using bad factors to develop your victim, or if you don't have bad factors, you can just dump them in here by river. Now, drag your victim ankles or fist and start to pull them toward your distance. <laughs> And make sure you don't stare in your back. I know, healthcare is very important. Now you two just drag your face. I will be like that, I promise. See, easy as one, two, and three. Now, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Murder How To. Make sure to watch next time to learn how to do your own poison and slip it into an unsuspecting person's drink. really nice to be able to talk to you again. Yeah. Speaking of which, I've been wanting to talk to you recently because you've been really uh, distant lately. Mm-hmm. Like that. I mean, what's got you so preoccupied that you can't even pay attention to your friends? Okay. If I'm going to tell you, you can't tell anyone else, okay? We're trying to keep it a secret. We? Oh my god, we have to spill the beans now. Well, I kind of have a new boyfriend. Oh my god, really? Who is it? Do I know him? You might. Um, so he's... Who is it? Hello, it is I, a new boyfriend. Oh my god, is that him? What? Um, you, you, you should know now. No, I want to meet him. No, you can't. Yeah. Oh my god. Vladimir Putin? <laughs> what are you doing in my bedroom? Well, you invited me over so we, we would cut off the Russian air. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why is this happening no, right now? You weren't supposed to talk about it. We are friends. We are friends. Oh no, it is good to have all my family. I'm just playing the mob. Excuse me? Uh, let me put more simply. Do you sell your soul to my country to live in snow covered bare land of non communism? Is he being serious right now? Isn't he so cute when he's scary? Well, are you with us or against us? Do I have a choice? About as much choice as the Russian people have on their president. <laughs> Yeah. 
fakultas Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the first act. Okay. At this time, my name is Joe Truesdale. I'd like to thank you on behalf of Mr. Joe Zarrell for coming tonight. Before we do the mission, we're going to have some pocket cake. We got these lovely, wonderful hats. If I can have the cast members come out, they're going to help me with this. Well, this side was the Steeler hat. This side will be Nikki from back in the day when the kids were little. Over here on the side, we're doing another Steeler cap. This side will be Rock and Roller Coaster. Any, any donations that you make will be given to the St. Vincent de Paul Society, which is a uh, group that is really working to help the victims in Australia that are dealing with wildfires, helping them. And all the information on the back of the program will read to you. We, we can, can take checks. If you want to write a check, please make it payable to Nash. Um, any and all proceeds are going to that good cause. Thank you again for coming out tonight. It's a fantastic group. How about another round of applause for the kids? They're having a lot of fun. After you make a donation, pass the hats around. The kids that are, the four kids that are in charge of the money, please come out and help me at this time. The rest of the cast is coming out and help pass out coffee and cake. Crew, if we could have full house lights, that'd be great. Thank you very much again for coming. If you're interested in coffee and cake, come on down into the orchestra pit. It's down the stairs. You come on down and help yourself. The band's going to play some music and think you're in your mission. Also, for those of you who cannot find seats, we have video screens now that can show the display the show. You can sit on the right and the floor and see it. It's a joke, right? It's a joke, for sure. Sure, I need you to say it's a joke. Any students here for bonus can take a selfie in front of the intermission sign and send it to me. I have a hat here. I'm looking for a hat. Thank you. That uh, would good. Hold the hats up, guys, so people can see where they want to donate money.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming. We're about to get the second act underway. If you still have coffee or cake, please bring it on up with you. Come on back up and have a seat on stage. Let's have another round of applause for the band. They're going to play one more number as we get seated here. Mr. Schick. David, can we play one more too? Everybody can join us back on stage. That'd be great. Thank you. Can I have the students with the hats please see me stage live? Right, please.
Thank you again for the band. Tech, you guys ready? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the second act. Thanks again for coming. Cho. And I'm Adira. And, and this is Weekend Update. The impeachment trials have begun. President Trump is turning off trial for obstruction of Congress and testing Ukraine for dirt on Joe Biden. When asked about Trump's thoughts on trial, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell stated that Trump, quote, has a good sense of humor about it. Better to have people talking about you and making fun of you than not talking about you at all, which has been Trump's main strategy since day one.
noise the entire night. Kind of warm fire. I didn't sleep at all. And in the morning, maybe it started off fine. I couldn't move in the morning. My teacher left all of my work. And then I didn't get any work done because I was so sleep deprived. Overall, that was a bad night. Lying. short enough, we have to teach the children about how not to resort to physical violence. Yay! Yay! Up next for the River's Edge Middle School Talent Show is Billy the Miraculous with his incredible magic skills. Hi guys. Um, so for my magic trick, I'm gonna get rejected, yay! <laughs> um, hey Lily. So, I know we don't know each other that well. No. But yay, ta-da! <laughs> Now another classic piece which spins off the classic tale, excuse me, original piece which spins off the classic tale. Tonight, Cinderella gets to decide what Cinderella wants in Cinderella Snaps. Yes, that's 
that's my glass slipper. You think I'm going to prove it to you by trying it on just to marry you? You think after one date, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Your ego is out of control. You want all the aspects of a prince, but you don't want to put in the work. I have to prove that's my slipper because you don't even remember what I look like. I get it. Many of the girls in this town would love to marry you. The thing is, you picked the wrong girl. I want to see the world and be independent. I've been kept in this house as a maid for too long. I'm not about to go from one prison to another. Do you even know that going to school is a dream of mine? You hear that, everyone? I'm leaving. And I'm taking what my dad left for me. You've taken advantage of me for too long, and I'm tired of it. Prince, I know the king is pressuring you to find a bride, but that is not going to be me. If you actually cared, you would ask me out. Be a gentleman instead of shoving a slipper in my face. It's ridiculous. I've only met you once at the ball. That is not enough time to make this kind of decision. Also, a quick tip. Your breast smells. Eat a mint or something. Lawyers. Have you been seriously hurt or mangled in a devastating factory accident? To the point where you have had a significant loss of income? Have you suffered serious mental and physical trauma? Or have you been invited to a reclusive man's factory to see his rooms or wonder filled with candy and other things that draw children in? <laughs> we will fight for you because I've seen what evil corporate monsters can do. I'm Paul Loompa. And I'm Paul Dupa. Willy Wonka compensation lawyers. And we will get you the justice and financial compensation you deserve. Whether you were shrunk and stretched, irreversibly tearing your internal organs, gotten scalped by giant squirrels, suffered severe brain damage from a lack of oxygen in a chocolate tube, been taken from your homeland as a slave for a crazy hermit, or gotten gaslit by Johnny Depp in a top hat, we are here to fight for you. For sweet justice, call Paul Loompa, Paul Doompa, today. Welcome back to the stage, the band. Hello. So this is our last song. It's called Newton's Laws. And Brett and I wrote it about physics for a physics project. So we want to dedicate it to Mrs. Harrell, wherever you are. Thank you for giving us the project. An object at rest remains at rest As long as no net force acts on it An object moving with the constant velocity Keeps on moving, and that's a guarantee It's all summed up by Newton's first law When afternoon opened his eyes to see A big red apple
Addiction Support Group. I'm seeing a lot of new faces here tonight, and frankly, I'm disappointed. We all know a man's best friend has emotions, but what if they could top? Next is Dog Whisperer. I don't know what to do. No matter what I do, he won't eat. Where is that dog whisperer? She should be here by now. I'm getting worried. Mm -hmm. woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Ding dong. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, calm down, come in. <laughs> How'd you do that? I am the dog whisperer, here to whisper your dog. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming. It's our dog, he won't. Stop. The dog will tell me what's wrong with him, and I'll tell you guys later. You're kidding! What is it? What's he saying? I'm so sorry. He won't eat. Yes, how did you know that? Oh, did he tell you why? He said you've, you've been coming home, smelling like other dogs. Oh, that, no, 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 I would never no. do that. Don't lie, Janet. You've been cheating on him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, <laughs> it didn't mean anything. I promise. It was an accident. They just got these therapy dogs at work, and they're so stress relieving. They're really stress relieving. He wants to know why he wasn't good enough. You are enough. You just weren't there at the right time. I'm sorry. He says, don't bother. <laughs> he knew it would end like this. End like what? Where is he going? <laughs> He said he would rather live at the pound than in this house of lies. <laughs> well, I, I, I guess if, if that's how you really feel. Uh, I'm gonna go home now. Here are tunes of a generation that no mother wanted their children to hear. On the Nose Songs. Take two.
Sometimes you have to wonder if parents were drinking when they named their kids. We present the support group for unfortunate names. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the support group for unfortunate names. <laughs> now, I'm so excited to see some new faces in the crowd. So how about we go around and introduce each other? All right, um, Ron, how about you start? Hi, my name's Ronald McDonald, and um, <laughs> my dog's name is Bullseye, like that one from Target, which he doesn't look like the one from Target because he looks like this, which is kind of an <laughs> ugly color. It's like brown and gray, but it's what makes him beautiful. I think. Yeah. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Right. Um, yeah, oh, and uh, by the way, um, the uh, buffalo chicken dip is fantastic yeah. for whoever brought that. That was mine. My name is Sam. Sung. Last time I got laughed at was two hours ago. Aw, I'm sorry, what happened? Well, I went to lunch before this, and I stupidly used my credit card. Uh, the waitress saw my name, and <laughs> I just I had a bad day. Oh, no, it's okay, Sam. We've all been there. Okay, well, um, I see no face over here, so um, uh, just make sure you introduce your name and say how long it's been since someone has uh, made fun of or asked about your name. Okay. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Chris. Hey, Bacon, uh, and it has been three days since someone has made fun of my name. Uh, would you like to elaborate? Uh, sure. Uh, well, I was out to breakfast with one of my friends, and I ordered the bacon because it's so good. And I thought my friend could hold it together, but then the waitress asked how I wanted to cook, right? I'm like, oh, crispy. And they just lost their mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we're so glad to have you here, Chris. Thank you. Um, your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought this was Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, hi, I'm Linda, and the court gave me uh, two options. Uh, stop drinking and go to therapy, or go to jail. So I chose to continue drinking. I mean, go to therapy and remain completely sober. Oh. Um, okay, I, I guess I'll go. Hi. My name is Crystal Meth, <laughs> and people mistake me for a stripper. Aww. Well, uh, we've all been there, Crystal. Namaste. Um, okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Joe. Joe, <laughs> Joe Mama! This is a support group Joe for Mama! Uh, Mama. Namaste! No, 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 Okay, um, oh, I'm so sorry, because with all the commotion, we never got to your name. Um, would you like to tell me now? Oh, what? I, this is a support group. I thought it was the post office. I'm supposed to renew my passport. Oh. What a great day. In today's swipe left, swipe right world, sometimes the old-fashioned dating game works wonders. And we are back. Like I said before the commercial break, we're not going to meet our four lucky contestants. Now, Chuck, are you excited to meet our four wonderful girls? I can't wait. Like I said earlier, I've had quite rotten luck with girls in my past, so I'm just hoping for someone to settle down with. Well, Preferably I'm with no baggage or quirks. Well, I think we've got the best group of girls for you. Let's go ahead and meet 
contestant number one. Hi, y'all. My name is Willow. I'm the slogan for a lumberjack to my tree. I am just like any other girl. I love romantic movies about the woods. I love cooking hot dogs and cuddling by the bonfire. And I think Chuck and I would make such a cute pair because he is such a cutie pie. Look at him. Oh. How amazing. <laughs> You mentioned your, the woods a lot in your story. Did you grow up outside of civilization? Actually, I grew up in the woods. My mama was a raccoon. My daddy was a bear. We grew up in a tree with the rest of my litter. How cozy. <laughs> now on to contestant number two. Hi, I'm Abigail. I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> well, that seems. Also, um. I should mention, I have this condition where I um, turn into different world political leaders at night. And I was like, oh. I'm kind of like Fiona from Shrek, but the um, the witch was kind of drunk when she cursed me. It's well, isn't yeah. she a peach? <laughs> now on to contestant number three, Hi. Clementine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Clementine. I grew up in the city with my two older brothers and a dog. Some of my favorite hobbies are rugby and playing the ukulele. Here's a little song I wrote about <laughs> how excited I am to be here. Thank you. Oh. Well, Pete, well, Clementine, that was amazing. Now, I hate to break it to you, but we've got to move on to our contestant number four. Let's face the crowd. Hi, my name is Charlie. You probably already know me because I currently have the hype on TikTok. Anyways, I have a boyfriend already, but LOLs, and I'm a dancer. So wait, are you single or not? Renegade. <laughs> All right, Chuck. So which one of our oh four my God. wonderful? Oh my, oh my God, it's happening! What's happening to her? Well, it looks like Abigail is transforming. <coughs> Hello. It is I, Russian leader Vladimir Putin. I'm looking for love. Well, it looks like we just found our new contestant number five. Oh. Oh, now, Chuck, it's the time for the question everyone has been answering. Which one of the four lucky girls will you choose to be your new girlfriend? Hmm. Hi, honeybee. Hi. Renegade. And take a look. Contestant number one. Hey. Number five. Number three. We can number make. Number four. Renegade. I <laughs> guess the Clementine? Yeah! Oh my god, I am so happy you chose me. We are going to live happily ever after. Well, there you have it, folks. Please make sure to turn in on the next episode of Never What I Asked For. Tired of political correctness? Tired of the newest cause of the day? So are the turtles. Turtles. The earth is dying. And it's your fault. Hello, my name is Cleo, spelled K-L-E-E-O-U-I. And I'm Oliver, with an X. And we are here to be, you know, unemployed philosophy majors. And we're here to tell you why you're, you're a, a bad, bad person. person. That's right. Millions of turtles every day die because the ocean levels are rising and so are temperatures. And humanity is dropping the ball. Boom. Boom. And also, who do you think is suffering the most from all of this steamy dumpster fire that we are calling the environment? Is it the bees? No. Is it the polar bears? Absolutely not. The future generations of actual human beings who still have nothing to work with or prosper from but a hunk of rock orbiting it around a dying sun that has been stripped of its value and potential due to laziness, neglect, and corporate greed? Don't be an idiot. It's the turtles. That's right, because we as a species can only get up behind something if it has a cute mascot to support it. Yeah, I mean, screw those little kids in Africa with rickets and flies feasting on their flesh. Um, actually, Cleo, that, uh, that violated my safe space. Oh my god. I am so sorry. 
I will immediately change my actions to accommodate for your uncomfort, and I will find a word that I feel fully encompasses the struggle that adults and children have to go through when they are born in a third world country without these visual graphic imagery to be more PC and, you know, obviously, make you comfortable, because that's all that's important. Screw those unfortunate kids. We have to focus on the real big threat to all of turtle kind. Plastic, plastic straws. straws. That's right. Millions of turtles die every day because of your bad habits. These creatures are too majestic to just look. Okay, screw you, man. Is that an anthropomorphic turtle right now? Uh, you're right, it is. And also, us turtles, we ain't no wussies. Excuse me, that is very offensive language, so. This turtle is violating my safe space. Oh my god. And also, how do you know that all of us turtles are worth saving? All right, I know a, personally, I know a few turtles I'd like to shank with a McFlurry straw right in the nostril. <laughs> Not to be racist or anything, but uh, I have a cousin in the Indian Ocean. Oh, if she choked on a plastic straw, wouldn't it be mad? Um, I don't like it, but I don't see how that was racist. Oh, she's stupid enough to die that way. Nobody can hear her because her accent is so thick. Shut up, Teresa! Just speak English already! Oh, never mind, I hear it now. <sighs> But, Mr. Turtle, shouldn't any help be good? I and mean, we can always use paper straws. Oh, you mean straws with erectile dysfunction? <laughs> if they don't work on land, why the hell would they work in the ocean? No, 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 no. They're not for you to use. <sighs> We're trying to eliminate straws in general so you don't choke on them and die. Um, my wife survived 200 eggs being pregnant with 200 eggs at one time. And I survived my wife being pregnant with 200 eggs at one time. You could throw anything at us. Plastic straws? You can't digest them. And you know what? You're on your own. You can choke on straws! Good day. I'm sorry. All right, all right, leave. No one wants your completely useless, completely lazy, and falsely compassionate efforts to fix a massive problem. <gasps> oh my god. Oprah just tweeted about the Australian wildfires. Oh my god, I gotta help out. <gasps> Thoughts and prayers. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, wildfires! Let's bring the whole cast out on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. Fantastic group of kids. This production started 29 hours ago, more than that, 30 hours ago. After school yesterday, they wrote, created, rehearsed, edited, and we're very proud of them. They did a great job. Before we go any further, please a round of applause for the tech crew of Mr. Zebley and the set crew for setting this whole thing up. We really appreciate your help. Another round of applause for the band. And I'd like to say the kids' names really quickly. Odds Allen, Paulina Bradley, Bela Burkharth, Gabriella Capaloni, Sally Cho, Maria Sima, Morgan Sima, Lily Johnson, Sharon Lee, Mihir Lovelaker, Brooke Mendenhall, Zach Musi, Hannah Oldham, Vincent Rate, Abby Rapp, Kate Snodgrass, Gannon Sprinkle, Coleman Walsh, Tori Wisniewski, Braden Yan, and Lorenzo Zatoli. Tonight's to and his pop. Tonight's total charity donation was just over $910. Thank you so much. We will have ha people with hats if you want to help us. Get over if you want to help us get over $1,000, please see someone with one of the four hats. Ben, if you could pass those out. Thank you again for coming, and we hope to see you next year. Thank you very much. If I could get the cast members to please help start cleaning up. Me here. If you're interested in donating, the cast member in the middle of the floor with the extra hat will be collecting funds. Braden, come grab this hat. Oh. 
If you feel so inclined, please come to the center of the stage and see Braden Yin. He has the rock and roller coaster hat.